Sam had overheard something that Jake told Danny. She put the pieces together, and uh, I walked in on her confronting Elizabeth, and I immediately sided with Elizabeth. I, yeah, I mean, you were no doubt caught off guard. More than that. You see, I, I assumed that Sam had an agenda. I thought that Elizabeth was honest, thought she was telling the truth, and I had it backward. Sam was honest. She wanted me to know the truth. And how did I repay her? I was brutally unfair to her. I'm sure that Sam has already forgiven you. I mean, she knows the crazy circumstances that you've been dealing with. Yeah, she does, but I just feel horrible about how I treated her. The whole year that I lived here, not knowing who I was, she would tell me about Jason Morgan, how much she loved him. She told me that she accepted his death and that she had moved on with her life. You know, I could tell she was still grieving, and I knew some part of her always would. I mean, happily, that's no longer the case because you've been restored to her. No, I haven't. I'm not the husband that she loved. We didn't share a life like this. I don't know who I am, man. And frankly, I don't know if that guy's ever gonna come back. So this whole time, Robin was being held captive? She didn't want to leave me and Emma. I am so sorry. That's horrible. Don't believe me, I'm the one that's sorry. I was so busy being hurt and angry that I didn't, I didn't bother to look closer. I just accepted weekly phone calls or Skype calls with Emma. I didn't try to engage with Robin myself. I didn't try to find out more. I didn't try and... I just should have done more, Sam. I don't know, Patrick. But why didn't I see, except for his face, that Jake was exactly like Jason? I couldn't because I didn't have all the information, and neither did you. So instead of beating yourself up for not being psychic, you should give yourself credit for figuring it out and rescuing Robin in time. Well, speaking of credit, I think I, uh, I owe you a little credit. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. No, really, I, I'm, I'm not exactly proud of the way that I handled the situation between you and Jason, but our breakup is what led me to take Emma to go to Paris to try and find Robin. That's where we realized what was really going on. So, Robin's rescue is actually attributed to you holding on to your feelings for Jason. With all due respect, there's no question of if Jason Morgan comes back, he... You are standing right in front of me. Jason Morgan is not some stranger I can hide from because he is me. Most perceptive insight. I guess so. It's not mine. It's Carly's. You know what? That, that's kind of the problem. Everybody around here, they know me better than I know myself. So when I do something that just shocks the hell out of me and nobody else blinks an eye, it kind of freaks me out. I assume you're talking about your altercation with Nicholas? A couple of days ago, I went after him at the floating room. It wasn't much of a fight. I just, I snapped, and it was just automatic. A couple of guys pulled me off of him, and frankly, I was grateful, because what good does it do for me to beat the hell out of Nick? It doesn't give me that, my time back that I lost. It doesn't lessen everybody else's grieving, not yours, not Sam's. So when I saw him on the terrace. I did, I tried to walk away. But he stopped me. Well, so Nicholas was the aggressor. He hit me. And then, like I said, everything's just automatic. I'm sorry, having been soundly beaten by you a brief time before, I mean, he clearly knew what he was getting into. This is what I'm talking about with you. I mean, every time you give me the benefit of the doubt because I'm Jason, what have I done to deserve this loyalty? Well, allow me to explain. I mean, you were you were my best friend. And my hero.